Hi again. Now this particular exercise we will uh, take a look at the C major chord. C major chord. Now remember the C major scale is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C, D, A, G, F, E, D, C. That's the C major scale, right? And within the scale you have uh, C being the root note of that scale and you also have a root chord and that root chord a triad the simplest uh, chord is would be C E G that's uh, when you play this is when you play it all together that's a chord and when you break it up that's what we call a arpeggio so that's a arpeggio of the C major and again, that's an arpeggio as well. And this is what we call a root position because the root of the chord, C, is at the bottom. It's the lowest note. You have the E and the G. And the interval between the C and the E is what we call a major third. And that is what is one of the as a very important aspect to that chord, why it is a major chord, because it has a min interval of a major third. And then you also have from the C to the G, is an interval of what we call a perfect fifth. It's a fifth, uh, it's called a perfect fifth. And so that has, that is a C major. Now, that is not the only way you can play a C major um, chord. If I take the same notes again, but this time I'm playing with the E on the bottom, E, G, and C. This is not an E chord but it's still a C major chord. But this is what we call a first inversion because the root is on the top. If the root, if I play, if I play like this, let's say if I play this, this is still considered root position. I just, I just added the octave on the top, see? But once, oh, once the root is not on the top, then this is what we call the first inversion. Because the E, the, the, the second note of the tr triad, C major triad, is on the bottom. And then if I take it up a little further, we have the G on the bottom. This is not a G chord. It still is an E, uh, excuse me, still is a C major chord, but now the G is on the bottom. You have the C, which is the root, the, th the third, and the fifth. And that is still a C major chord. So let's review that again. So this is a C major chord in root position, C, E, G. And this is a first inversion, E, G, C. And then a second inversion. And that is the C major chord with its inversions. Thank you and continue with your musical studies.